Hey, how are you? How are you? How are you? Hey, I'm very happy to see you again in my new video because uh, I'm quite busy this time. Don't have so many time for making new video. So today, uh, what I'm gonna bring you, yeah, another video about uh, a 3D tool pad. Yes, a, a brand new 3D tool pad and. I found that in very interesting I want to show you so we can learn together, right? Okay, and the tool pad that I want to talk about today is, is the um the morph. Yeah. I don't know how to spell that. Morph, morph, morph. <laughs> yeah, it's uh quite difficult to me uh, for me to uh, to spell it, but you know, this tool pad uh, this not uh, this is not a, a 3D tool pad in Mastercam. Actually, it's a, a five axis tool pad, and it's uh, I think it's uh, uh, created by the Module Works Morph here. Uh, although uh, although it's a, a five axis tool pad, but uh, actually you can use it at the uh, uh, a 3D tool pad on a 3 axis machine and it's a very powerful and you have a lot of option with this so that's why I want to uh, to introduce to you okay I know this tool pad from uh, one of my friend and after um, before before I I, uh, I know about this tool pad I, I keep playing with the, the flow line you know uh, yes, I'm, I uh, my favorite my favorite tool pad is the the surface finish flow line. Uh, I I found that it very cool, but after I I working with this tool pad, the morph, I found this is much much powerful, and we have a lot of option. Yeah. So uh, before we are talking about this tool pad, I I want to show you a little bit about what the morph tool pad. Uh, actually, I don't uh, no, I don't understand it uh, clearly, but uh, I can show you something. Okay, if you want to uh, to learn about a multi axis tool pad, uh, ex especially uh, provided by the module work, you can uh, you can find this document. That's called a module work documentation. Uh, you can find this uh, on uh, emastercam.com. Yeah, and you can download it for reference. And they have uh, some section about uh, their multi axis tool pad. I, I, you can file here. That's the morph between two curves. And. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Yeah. And morph between two surfaces. Yeah. So uh, they will explain uh, what is the morph tool pad. You can see in the description. Uh, oh, yes. The morph tool pad means. That the generated tool pad gradually interpolate between the two curves and evenly spread over the surface. Yeah, if you want to know what is it, just look, uh, take a look on this document, module work documentation. Okay. Okay, and I'm uh, make a, a simple video about. Uh, sorry, a simple uh, sample about the morph. Okay, for example, I create a, a one R here. Oh. oh, level. Okay. Uh, for example, I create a, an arc here. Two, two. Okay, and a line here. Two. Okay. And we create a morph tool pad. I will make it quick so you can see it. Uh, sorry, we need to create a surface. Surface, love, ping, ping, you Okay, we got a surface here, and now we are going to create a, the the tool pad. Okay, we go to the tool pad in the multi axis section. You can find a morph here. Click on this. Uh, yes, the tool for example, a six millimeter ball mill, and next, next on the cut prop pattern you can you have two options the first the uh, pattern from curve to to uh, curve and from surface to surface you can see here uh, yeah in my in this video I just want to talk about the, 
the pattern curve to curve yeah okay I will select S yes, and I will explain this later okay ting we set the surface okay then you know this is a 5 exit tone pad but in the output format you can select the 3 exit output yes that's allow you to select the the tone plan for the machining yeah okay Thing, 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 zigzag. Okay. So you can see this is uh, the morph. You can see the in inter in interplay uh, curve between two curve. All right, I will input a. Uh, okay. A big step over so you can see it clearly, okay? Yeah, this is the morph between two curves. You can see this either into uh, 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 in, in, in interpolation interpolation curve here from this curve to this curve is a uh, uh, I think it's similar to the plane the, the, the plane tool pad in Mastercam, yeah. This I think is similar to the plane. You can see there yeah, is is um yeah quite uh, similar to this type of tone pad, but it's much more powerful. I will show you uh, why I say that. Okay, look at this. This is the morph tone pad, and you can see the curve is spread out from this curve to this curve, and when you have a surface that not uh, uh how I say uh not the, the constant white for example you see we have a narrow area here and a white area here the, the curve will, uh, will um, uh, it's not a, a you can see not constant step over you can see in this section and this section it's not a constant step over so this small tool pad is uh, suitable for uh, surface surfaces that have uh, quite constant white, like uh, fillet here, chamfer fillet here. Here the same uh, some example of the con constant uh, white uh, surfaces. It it will look uh, it make uh, our tool pad look uh, look beautiful and uh, we have a, a constant step of you can see here. Another example, if we have one curve here and one curve here, and I create a surface, loft, in, in, ping, okay. This is a, a surface that uh, the Y is not constant, yeah. You can see if we uh, use the morph tool pad, um, we will not get a good reserve because the surface is not constant. Why white like this? Okay. Huh? No. Two. Upper curve. Okay. I need to select the curve again. This one. Okay. You can see that. Because this uh, interpolation be, be, uh, from this curve to this curve, you can see uh, in the narrow area the step over is smaller, and in the y area here the step over is bigger. So uh, it's, it's will not good if you if we use the morph tool pad on uh, on surfaces like this and this. Okay, and we come. Uh, you can see I have a park here on the screen and we use this for uh, demonstration at the beginning I say this is a very very powerful um, now I'm gonna show you how I, I say that I can say that the morph is a, a good combination uh, between the the plane tool pad and the, the flow line tool pad and it, it have the 
um, advantage of the two tool pad and it provides us more and more option okay for example uh, in this uh, example I want to uh, for example I want to to finish uh, cutting the, the fillet here you can see the fillet here yeah the fillet on the park here first I'm gonna use the flow light tool pad this is an old school tool pad I, I usually use on uh, uh, in the past uh, okay I select the surface here ping 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 oh, sorry ping 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 okay you can see the flow line uh, we have a, a, an issue here because uh, the flow line is uh, work better on the, the, the tension surface surfaces but you can see these surface is not tangent so we have a, a gap here gap here we have a lot of gap here and when we uh, generate a tone pad you can see uh, okay wait a minute uh, it's calculating okay Wow, this is crazy. You can see when we use the flow line tool pad, we have some gap here. And you can see too many retraction. Yes, nobody wanted. This is really crazy. Yeah. That's the flow line. Sometimes it go crazy because the, the surface is not good. It's not uh, not tension so uh, we don't have a smooth uh, surface uh, sorry a smooth tool pad but now uh, I, I, I will use the morphs and I can show you uh, how it works okay this is how the morph work and you can see very very beautiful we can also add an entry and uh, an entry uh, and an exit uh, curve here all right you can see the tool pad is very smooth and beautiful now i'm going to show you how to create it we go to the tool pad here and select the morph mm -mm 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 -mm. we select the tool okay and the most important in the cut pattern we need to select uh, the curve and the surface in this video I just want to uh, focus on the the pattern from curve to curve and not uh, uh, talking about the surface to surface maybe it, it's quite similar okay okay in the pattern from here you need to select the first curve you click on this if you already have the the wireframe uh, curve you can select you this uh, to select the wireframe and if you don't have the wireframe, you can change to the solid environment and you select uh, okay the chain here. Okay, for well, example, so I want to cut from top to bottom. I will select this chain first. Okay, so you can see we have the first chains. We have the the from curve, and now we move next to the bottom two. We we need to select the second curve okay sorry my english not good i hope you can understand what i say with like this this okay this is a link chain in, in, in. oh shit in, okay in master game 2018 you uh, have you can select the chain quick quicker okay so you can see i have selected two curve one in the top here and <coughs> sorry one here so the tool pad will be uh, interpolum between this curve and this curve next we need to select the surface we want the services we want to do the machine okay uh, like I uh, check on the solid selection and I pick this surface surface choo 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 choo.
Yeah, this is a uh, 5x tomb pad, but in this video, I just want to show how to use this in 3x machining. Uh, so uh, I don't uh, want to talk more clear, uh, more detail about all the options like tool x control or collision control. Okay. Now you can see we have selected the front curve, the bottom two curve here, and the dry surfaces. You can input the 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 offset. Okay, like in the 3D tool pad, you can input zero if you want to leave no material on the surface. Input a, a positive value if you want to leave material on the surface. Okay, very simple. Okay, because this is your, as I say, it's your a five axis, so it said many many options. So if you want to discover what X option mean, please read this document. The module work documentation. Okay, uh, you can find it on emastercam.com. Okay, it's free for download. If we want to use it uh, 3D, just uh, forget about it. <coughs> Sometimes it's uh, it will be useful for this option, but I, I don't have time to talk about all of the option so I just want to focus on the most important thing you can use this parameter for creating a 3d tool pad okay so we next to the surface uh, surface quality we can input a, a small value for finishing <coughs> to get a, a, a better surface finish okay uh, right another important parameter that's the cutting method you can select a uh, three different kinds of <coughs> tool movement in a zigzag motion the one way there's in the spiral yeah because this is a, a closed surface so I prefer using the one way or spiral okay we can try one way first <coughs> we also have the step over like uh, in 3d tool pad I will put maybe 0.25 millimeter okay can also select the cut order the direction yeah you can figure out yourself it's very interesting I just want to focus on the most important thing you need okay after we have uh, input some parameter for the cut pattern we move to the tool next control because we use it on 3d machining uh, and on a 3x machine so the output format is 3x And that when you select the three exit for output format, you can see we have another option here. That is the tool plan for direction. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> the tool plan direction for five for three exit. Because it's I'm uh, machining the top plan, so I select top. If you are doing a, a three plus a two machining on a five action machine, you can use other direction here. Or if you are using in another tool plan, you can set, use this other direction. Okay, now I select top because I want because I'm machining from the top direction. <clears throat> That's done for the tool next control because pre exit very simple, right? Here we also have the collision control. Oh uh, yeah, I will talk about this later. You can skip it. You can skip it if uh the flow line uh, if the surface had no, no undercut area and no check surface we need to include so we can skip the collision control okay we move next to the linking yeah yeah you can see there's a lot of lot of option that's uh that's the one reason I don't like it about this tool pad because it's a five action tool pad that set a lot of options. <laughs> you have some uh, field here like entry exit and default link clearing area. Okay, I want to uh, say something about the most important thing. Okay, the first entry and the, the last exit. Uh, you can select uh, the tool we uh, 
end gate from uh, the clearance area and after we finish the cutting it will uh, retract and it, you, it will use the last exit option here the clearance area you will define here you can define by plane or cylinder or sphere cylinder and sphere is used in uh, multi axis but now we have only uh, three axis so we can use uh, the most common is the plane and we select the plane axis the clearance for the plane is 150 okay and if you want to use a lead in and lead out at the beginning and at the end of the operation you can select here you list in and you lead out okay uh, what about default link I will talk about it later just focus on uh, you list in and you lead out if you don't select it I will show you what happened okay all right I think that's enough for the tone pad sorry if I missed uh, many things because you set a lot of option you can see very beautiful tool pad in the morph okay you can see here uh, which uh, we don't have uh, the the lead in lead out because we haven't uh, selected <coughs> the tool uh, plug into the surface and exit here with no lead in and lead out motion okay so if you want to uh, add a lead in and lead out at the beginning and at the the final of the operation you need to select you lead in and you lead out and before using that we need to define the lead in and lead out motion we click on the plus button here and go to the default lead in and lead out yeah here we had a lot of option here and a lot of option here and the most common I use is the, the tangent arc here okay Two on this. For example, I want uh, one millimeter. R here. A. Okay, this is the most common I I use. You can choose many many uh, options depend on your surface. I don't want to talk more about this. Uh, maybe it take one or two day. <laughs> okay. You can see that we already have a lead in here. Yeah, this is the lead in motion, and at the final, at the end of the operation, we also have a lead, a lead out. Yeah, we don't have it on a, a flow line or a plane tool pad. Uh, the flow line and the plane also uh, allow it to select the the lead in and lead out, but it's not a, a curve like this. Just a string line and a string line is not good, right? It's much more powerful. Okay, and you can see we have a, some transition between this, uh, 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 this, this, this uh, section and this section. We can change it here. Back to the tool pad parameter, linking. Okay, in the default link, you can see we have small gap and uh, lag gap, and this is where we define the gap for example if uh, the gap uh, between two sections is smaller than 100% of the tool diameter if it's smaller than this value it will consider the small gap and for small gap we have some option here for small gap you can see plan as and plan spline or follow surface okay you can see if, if I select a follow surface you can see the difference so you can see now we have this follow surface this is a small gap between be, 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 because the distance between uh, this section and this section is smaller than 100% of the tool so uh, you have a, a small gap here and it's to the uh, follow surface option we have selected before like this and if you use direct, you can see the difference. Mm -hmm. 
yeah this is strange line is uh, difficult to see but this strange line not follow the surface and it may out the, the surface so yeah I normally select the follow surface or plan spline in the, the small gap and normally in the small gap we don't need to, to you lead in and lead out in small gap okay and for a large gap uh, we can we have also we have some option here we can retract to the clearing area or other option yeah and normally in glad gap I usually select uh, you lead in and lead out here okay you can see this where we define the, the, the gap size you can define in the, the percent of the tool diameter or you can uh, define at value okay for example here I have a maximum step over 20.25 20, and if I input here uh, la, 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 maybe 2 uh, only 0.2 you can see yeah you can see that because the gap size is only 0.2 but the step over is 0.25 this now it become a, a lag gap and for the lag gap we have selected uh, retract to the clearing area yeah you can see here for the lag gap is retract to the clearing area and it's also you lead in and lead out yeah that's the uh, what's the gap mean okay la 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 if you want to discover more about this tool best uh, please read the uh, uh, the half and the module work documentation okay I just want to show you the most important parameter that you can create a tool pad okay Thank, 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 thank. Okay, okay. So now you can see, uh, it's a very, very powerful tool pad, right? And I have uh, another example. You can see how it's powerful. All right. For example, I have a a small box here. Ding, ding. Okay move it down a little bit Choo. maybe uh, like here okay okay maybe I have a check uh, stock here and I want to machine to fill it I want it to jump over here I can see uh, you can see uh, we have another great uh, tool okay we go to the morph here and we go to the collision option collision control and we check we have some uh, a, for example I want to check collision on the on the flute of the the tool and I just want to check with the check surfaces now is allow us to select the check surfaces thing in and now you can see it check the collision uh, you can see it check and it retract the tool I will measure the distance of this check you can see this is around 6 millimeter around 6 millimeter so we can see that this is a lag gap uh, We have some uh, option here. You can trim the tool pad and relink. When you relink the tool pad, it will use the linking parameter here because it's a six millimeter. Is and the gap is five. It consider that's it a lag gap and it will retract to the clearance. Now, when we when I input a, a bigger value, maybe six point five, you can see la 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 la. Ooh, to see if we have different oh it's still retract we need to uh, input a, a greater value okay and da -da, maybe 10 okay and let's see what happened oh 
Oh, it's still retract. Damn. <laughs> Maybe we need a real value. Six and the sixty twelve is calculated by the, the center distance, so we need to input a greater value. <laughs> now we got it, right? The flow light to mat cannot make like this, something like this. You can see, very, very beautiful. It's jump over the, the check surface, yeah. When we input a, a line up, uh, gap distance, yeah, it will jump over the check. And if you want to, uh, you want the tool not contact with the, the check, Surface it. You can input a stock to leave here, maybe um, two millimeter. Yeah, so it not contact with the the check surfaces. Oh, when you use uh, two, we need to uh, input uh, a bigger value for the gap size because because it increase the distance, maybe twenty. Uh, yeah. You see that? Now it jump over and not contact with the check surface. Yeah, that's I want to talk something about collision control. We have many, many, many options. Uh, I cannot talk all about that because there's some option I haven't used and I haven't used before, so I don't want to, to talk about that. Just some. <clears throat> you have here two options: check with dry surface and check. With check surfaces, uh, you can use this option uh, if you don't want the, the tool cut into the undercut area. Yeah, I will show it later if I found some example. Okay, so that's how we create a, the morph tool pad. Very very powerful, right? I want to compare a uh, is with the plan tool pad. You can see the difference. Okay, I select the plan tool pad here and. And uh, the plan. This is the plan tool pad. Okay. The same tool. Okay. You can see for the plan tool pad, we have a a bad thing that the plan is the the center of the tool is. We stay on the on the plan curve here when we take a look from the top, and you can see the center of the tool will con will uh, lay on the yeah the plan line here. So uh, it's not uh, make a, a properly cut. The tool cannot go uh, down here to machine all over the surface like this. If you want to use a plan tool pad, you need to offset this line out a little bit like this. Uh, two, two, okay. Maybe uh, I will offset it. Maybe 20 point. Oh, sorry, in wrong direction. Uh, okay. The plan only work if we offset this, and just now the center of the tool will move from to here, and we change. Okay, we we change the the plan. Ah, uh, la la, channel. Okay, the first. This is the first chain and the second here. We move the, the, the chain out a little bit. Choo. I can see the tool now move down and it cut all over the surface. That's how the, the, the plane work because the plane work on the center line of the tool so it's not automatically uh, move the tool out of uh, the line here. So is not good right but for the morph it will automatically uh, calculate 
the tomb position like this one yeah you don't need to to move the curve here out or far away of, of uh, the surface that's that's why I say the morph is the combination and a, a better a better uh, option between the plane and uh, when you compare with the plane and the flow line tool pad okay I have some other park here I will uh, make some example on this park okay alright we can uh, copy this this is some kind of park uh, we can use the the morph tool pad okay yeah. alright 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 okay for example this is the a uh, seat metal park I want to make a full cut from here to here so I select the chain alright this is the first curve in 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 you can go up to here but you can see is the surface is not constant this is uh, narrow and this is wider so okay you we can try Oh, okay so it is the first curve and for the second the pattern two we select another one okay. now I set this one and next we select a surface remove the old surface and check a new one uh, in my experience you should select the surface between the curve you should not select the surface outside of the curve it will not good uh, it will not create a good surface a good tool pad you can see okay now we can go uh, by zigzag direction <laughs> Go. See that very very beautiful, very very fast, and you can so have a very nice lead in and very very nice lead out. Okay. This is the the tension lead lead in and lead out. You can see here we have a, a last step over here compared to here because the surface is not a constant white. So I not recommend use uh, to use it on this kind of surface. You need another tone pad to to machine this this surface, right? But it's very beautiful, right? This is the tangent lead in and lead out. I can change it to ah uh, uh, to uh, vertical vertical tangent. Okay. Pew. and this is the vertical vertical tension yeah yes very nice I can try to use it with the flow light to see if you get a, a good result right just for comparison comparison okay you go flow line and you select this, 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 this. Okay, the flow. Cut direction. Okay, it look good, but let's see. It will not good. I can pretty sure about that. Okay, we go zigzag. Because we don't, uh, we we cannot change the direction of the surface like this one you can see it's not good it's the vertical but it's the uh, like the same way the tomb pad is not smooth like uh, the morph uh, I believe after this video many many people will change from flow line 
to morph and you will use this one all the time you will feel you love it okay uh, another one shoo shoo I will make some example feel feel okay how about this park okay I will try to machine the fill it of the park using the morph uh, you can use oh. uh, as, I, as I said before you can use the wireframe at a curve or solid curve is up to you right for example I will create a chain here and it take time but I will try to make it quick oh I forgot to make it before Okay, this video take very very long. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, I need to change the color of the curve so it's easy to see, right? It goes for red, red color. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. Now I got an upper curve here. And another one in the lower two. Oh, I not forgot to select the color of the chain, so it's difficult to see. Ooh, 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 choo, choo, la 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 la. Oh man, look at this. Ah, uh, we don't have a good connection here. But no worry, I just. By bypasses <laughs> like this. <laughs> okay, choo, choo. another one. Damn it. <laughs> okay. enough change the color so it's easy to see okay do it again just oh, 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 oh. select the first curve remove the old one select this curve oh man I I missed this. All right. Okay, we select the curve. Ew, ew, ew. Like this. And we select another one. Rechain all and select this one. And the dry surface. All right. Okay. You select the surfaces between the two curve. Do not select the out, the external surface. You will not get a good tool pad. Okay. You just select the surfaces. Uh, limit by two curve. Okay. Choo choo choo. All right. Let's see if we have a good tomb pad. Now we go on the spiral. Wait a minute. Okay. Okay, it's done. E e e e e e e e yeah, you see that? Very, very beautiful and smooth. Because we have some uh, bad thing here, so it's not so uh, so good here. But overall, is is nice, right? 
and I, I, I can pretty sure you will love it when you can control it, okay? All right. I will try the last one. See. Now I will uh, machine uh, for example. This fill it. Okay. Now I use the collision control to to limit the tool pad. All right. Uh, we set the new curve. Which one? Okay. For example, I want to make a cut from this. Okay, to this. You can see this is the first curve. And for the second curve, I'm gonna select a new uh, re channel. Uh, this one, this one, this one. E -e 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 -e. Okay, we stop here, and then we select the surface. Remove the old one. Select the new one. Oh. Yeah, just stop here. You can see this is the surface we want to machine, and this is uh, undercut area with the tool cannot engage because we are uh, working on the, the three action machine and we going on this direction tool plan. So this is uh, the undercut area, and I want the tool to avoid collision with this. So we go to the collision control. Now we don't check with the check surface, but we check with the dry surface. We check for fluid shaft. This is the the shoulder, the shoulder of the tool, and this is the sink of the tool. You can also check for holder. <clears throat> now we will trim the tool pad. If there is any collision, okay. Uh, boom. You can see when we uh, check the collision for dry surface, the tool will not go off into uh, the surface. You can see here, this is the checking collision. Checking collision. The tool will not cut into the, the, our surface in the undercut area okay <clears throat> if we don't check the collision you can see what happened okay see that Tool cut into the undercut area like this. You can see this is the gulf if we uh, don't check with the dry surface. Okay, now we go zigzag. To redo the tool retraction, okay. Linking, okay, and we check collision. Now, beautiful tool pad, right? So I think that's enough for today. Okay, and that's what I want to show you about the, the morph toolpad. A very very powerful and yes, 
a lot of option on this toolpad and you can discover yourself too many things on this toolpad I have not discovered yet because I just focus on something I use commonly and I, I feel important you can try it to um, use this option so you can have a better control on the toolpad okay I hope you like this video and it's time goodbye for now and I hope to see you another video thank you bye bye